Hey everybody, welcome to the Raw Online Report. Awesome guest today. People call him the GOAT, eight-time Mr. Olympia, Ronnie Coleman. We're doing this on Halloween night. He's in Orlando. He's being a great sport. So welcome. Welcome, Ronnie. How are you? Oh, doing pretty good, Ron. What about you? Good, good. I want to congratulate you on the cover. Cover of Yeah, MD. buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Not only that, there's a nice article so, in there, too. Yeah, I want to show people it's called King Ronnie. The greatest Mr. Olympia of all time. And who's going to argue with that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was uh, – what year did you come out with the crown and, and the, the cape and all that? That was awesome. 05. 05, yeah. So that yeah. was your last win. That was, yeah, 2005. Wow. Yeah, yep, I mean, exactly. Yeah, I mean, gosh. <laughs> I mean, uh, these guys get oh, mad at me. Some of the guys get mad when I say if Ronnie will – that Ronnie was competing today, he'd still – He'd still be dominating the sport, and you know they think I'm being like a grumpy old man, but I'm just being real. It's not kissing your ass or anything. I'm just. You know, I think if Phil Heath at his best was still competing, he'd be beating all these guys too. So. Oh yeah, I think if uh, Flex and Kevin was competing, they would too. Yeah, I mean, it was some great, great guys from your era. You were the greatest, yeah. of course. Uh, exactly. So you're in, you're in Orlando right now, right? Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, so we'll get right to it. Uh, who do you? Who's your pick? Who do you think is going to win the Mr. Olympia this year? I'm going. I, 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 I got Derek winning. Okay. Okay. Great minds think alike. Yeah. I mean, what what do you think gives him the edge over Hottie? Shape. Shape. Yeah. 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 Hold on. He's been. Have you seen him? Because he's been spending time out in Texas, in the Dallas area, training with Honey Rambod. Have you seen him around? No, I haven't seen him around. Uh, I was over at Honey's place about a month ago, and he told me Derek was coming out. But uh, when I was there, he wasn't there yet. Yeah. So you were at the show last year. Uh, how do you th did did you have Derek winning last year, or do you think Hadi beat him fair and square last year, and he's improved, and that's why he might win this time? Yeah, yeah, I think he's improved, and that's why he's gonna win this time. Yeah. So uh, another guy people are talking about is Samson Dowda because he's. Much taller. He's six foot, 300 pounds, little tiny waist. <clears throat> Do you think he's got a chance of beating both Hottie and Derek this time? Uh, yeah, if he can, if he can uh, get a little bit tighter, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, you've, you've gone on record many times saying you don't write anybody off because nobody saw you coming in 1998. You know, I, I don't think exactly. anybody, everybody thought it was supposed to be Flex Wheeler or maybe Sean Ray. Maybe Kevin, but you know, Nasser, but you blew past all of them. And just where'd you go from ninth place the year before to winning? Yep, exactly. <laughs> uh, man, so uh, I don't know if you, you probably heard of everyone's talking about Nick Walker. We're doing this on Halloween, and this morning he made a very emotional announcement. He tore his hamstring a couple days ago, less than a week out from the show. He had to yeah. pull out of the show. So uh, obviously, you must feel bad for the kid because he did all the prep. He was ready to go. And then this. Oh, oh man. I'd be heartbroken if I was him. Yeah. Yeah, for uh, sure. That would be the worst thing that ever happened. Yeah. Now, you 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 had injuries over the years, but you never got injured in prep, right? Or never did you? had injured in prep. Yeah. Never, ever. I, I remember one year I was getting ready for the uh, Arnold Classic, and I herniated my disc. Oof. But I still did the show, you know. Wow. Yeah, how'd so, you do that year? Was that the year? That's the year I got fourth. Fourth, okay. Yeah. That was uh 97. Yeah, that was the last year you ever got beat was 97. After that, nobody ever beat you ever again. So, yeah. Yeah. I wanna well, uh, Kevin Kevin did actually beat me in uh your know, San Francisco show that year, that next year. Yeah, oh, that's right. I want to I want to show people uh, the 1998 Olympia posing routine. You can probably see it. I don't think you see it on screen now. Do you see that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have the technology now. So this was the year you came out of. I wouldn't say you came out of nowhere, but like I said, you weren't one of the guys everyone was worried about. It. You were like a you were consistent top five, top six, seven guy, but nobody saw you coming. And this this was just. Yeah, and in the interview with Giles, you said this is probably your favorite look, right? The 98 win? Yeah, yeah, that was my favorite look of all. Yeah. The 98 I mean, one. I'd, I'd go with this or the year 
2001 when you won the Arnold was a very, very good look too. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Light and lighter. Uh, just Great talk about quickly a couple of the other guys, Andrew Jacked. Uh, I don't know. Did you go to the Texas show that he just won a couple months back? No, I didn't go to it. Okay. Yeah. Cause uh, he, he dominated. That was two wins in a row at the Texas pro. He's the, he's the reigning champ of that. And that's another guy, six foot two, 290 pounds, tiny little waist, broad shoulders. Um, you know, we talk about future Mr. Olympia potential. Do you, do you see that? How many of these guys do you look at and say, that guy's going to be Mr. Olympia who could, or he could definitely become Mr. Olympia the next couple of years. Would Andrew be one of them? Yeah. Andrew was one of them. I trained with him today. Matter of oh, fact, wow. he was at my, at my uh, office gym. You know, we got that new Panali equipment in there. Oh, oh, so was he in, is this in Dallas? No, no, this is in uh, Orlando. I mean, well, Lake Mary, which is like 30 minutes from Orlando. Oh, that's right. We're talking about the Ronnie Coleman Signature Series. That's where your headquarters is in is uh, near Orlando, right? Exactly, yeah. I, I've been here since yesterday. Wow. So you guys worked out together? Huh? You worked out with Andrew? Yeah, yeah, we worked out together. Oh, wow. He must have been stoked. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but you also had a workout uh, a few weeks ago at Gold's Gym Venice with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Was that yeah. just a, was that a complete coincidence? You guys just happened to be there at the same time? No, no, no. I had called him up and, and uh, told him I'd come down there. Okay. If, uh, if, if, you know, we, we can get a workout in together. Yeah. Legendary, legendary stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you put some of that up on your channel. The, the channel's called Ronnie Coleman, guys. If you haven't checked it out, so many great videos. The podcast. Yeah, yeah hey, you so know YouTube what? channel. Your YouTube channel. It's just called Ronnie Coleman, right? Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. I have a special request. I want to see more of those Ask Me Anything videos. Those are my favorite. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we are, we're doing that now. Oh, wow, cool. That's yeah, why, yeah. that's why, that's another reason why I come in town, you know, so I can do those videos. Yeah, you have a whole studio set up there in, in your office, right? Uh-huh, exactly. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, we're still looking at your post from 98. Yeah, man. So uh, give can you give me what you think your top five? What, what's your top five? And then I'll, I'll let you go because it's it's Halloween night and kids are trick-or-treating and all that good stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, I got uh, <clears throat> Derek in first. Yep. Uh, Hottie in second. Uh, third. Uh, I got uh, Samson. Okay. Same top three as me. Yeah, fourth, uh, uh, Brandon. Yeah. And then uh, fifth, I got Andrew. Andrew, okay. Where would you have had Nick Walker if this hadn't happened to him? I had him in like fourth, fifth. Okay. Yeah. I think yeah. fourth. Last thing I want you to comment on, Brandon Curry, he's a Mr. Olympia winner. He took second place two years in a row after that to Rom, Big Rami. And then he he dropped to fourth, which is still fourth in the world. I I think it's crazy that so many people are writing him off completely, saying he's got no chance of top five and certainly no chance of winning. You know, you know all about being written off and people underestimating you. So what do you think about that when people say, Brandon Curry's never going to win the Mr. Olympia again? Ooh, never say never. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah, because, I mean, you even told me – I said we're never going to see somebody win eight Olympia titles again, and you corrected me. said never say never. Yep. <laughs> it would take a long time, It'll, but it, it's – Yeah, exactly. It might be a long, long, long time. <laughs> I, mean, I, I just don't see anyone right now that's dominating yeah. the, way that, the way that you were. You know, Dorian dominated his era. You dominated your era. Lee Haney dominated his era. These guys, I see a lot of guys who are very close to each other, but nobody's really way above, leveled up above anybody else. The way that, that's my opinion, but we'll see what happens. So stop sharing, get out of YouTube. Okay. Well, can, oh, it's all dark in there in the car. You're doing this for Yeah, I know. My life just went out. I'm trying to uh, turn back on. Well, anyway. <laughs> it's so dark, I can't hardly see. Oh, there you go. There you go. Cool. Well, Ronnie, uh, I'm going to let you go. I appreciate this so much. Uh, where are you going to be this weekend so people can find you? I'm going to be at the Olympia. Uh, see, we got our own booth. It's uh, Ronnie Coleman Signature Series. Okay, cool. 
Uh, any other athletes? Uh, no, it's just me, you know, Enough. by myself. <laughs> I mean, who else do you need? You got Ronnie Coleman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna, out, you're gonna outdo your star power. So, Coleman, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Check out, what booth number do you know? No, no, I don't know the booth number yet. Well, I, gonna, yeah, I don't know. It. It. <laughs> yeah, there's I always. A, I, I think they should be shouldn't have a hard time finding it. Yeah, and you know, I think there's always a little guide at the beginning when you walk in, so you can find exactly. it. Yeah. From what I remember about that place, it's not going to be hard to find you. So exactly. <laughs> check out, if you're heading to Orlando, check out the Ronnie Coleman Signature Series booth. Check out his YouTube channel, Ronnie Coleman. And uh, that's it, man. We're just – we're very uh, – ha I'm happy you're making it. Glad to see you oh, as yeah. always. And uh, I'll bring you some of those magazines if you want some spare issues so you can – Yeah, that'd be great. Them. Yeah, I got a whole box of them I'm bringing down. So I'll oh, catch you Yeah, appreciate it. I'll definitely give you a few for the for that for the fans or whatever for you. Oh, so okay, yeah, that'll work. <laughs> so appreciate it, Ryan. Thanks so much for talking to us, everybody. Thanks for watching Ron Line Report. This has been Olympia Picks from eight-time Mr. Olympia, the GOAT, Ronnie Coleman. We'll see you in Orlando. Yeah, yeah buddy. Hey, did you like that video? Smash that like button, subscribe to MD, and please comment down below. Thanks for watching.